Tom, come on in. I've got some questions for you. How are you today? Very good, thank you. Thanks good. for asking. Um, what have you done in preparation for today? Been busy? Uh, same as always, uh, training hard mm. and just ready for whatever challenge comes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you were at the ADCC trials in Poland and now here at Dungeon Wars 2. How do you um, cope with being so busy and being on top of your game constantly? Uh, I just love what I'm doing at the minute. I feel yeah. so lucky to be in a situation that I get to compete and uh, yeah. just doing what I love every day. It's, oh, it's cool. easy for me. That's great. Um, do you know much about your opponent today? Uh, he's very experienced. Um, I've seen a few of his matches. Uh, he's Definitely no joke, you know, he's, he's a very tough opponent, but yeah. uh, I'm ready for the challenge. Cool. Um, do you have a strategy or do you prefer to kind of see what happens and play it that way? Uh, same as always, really. Just go out there and try and outperform my opponent. Great. Yeah. Oh, well, good luck for today. Thank you for speaking thank you to me. Much. Thank you. Dinu, come on over. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Good. Do you know much about your opponent? Uh, yes, I, I've, I've seen him uh, at the trials. He did a very good uh, performance. He had some nice matches, so it would be, would be great to fight yeah. today. Yeah. Um, and knowing him, does that kind of change how you've prepared for today? Uh, not really. I, I always try to, to do what I do better, not to have a strategy depending on how yeah. my opponent fights. Yeah. Um, and I believe you've had an injury to your elbow. Um, how have you kind of changed up your training re regime? Oh, I just didn't train. <laughs> I <laughs> rested and, yeah. and then I, I came back strong and uh, it's good, good to be idea. back competing, yeah. Good, well, good luck, thank you. And in walks to the cage is Tom Murray, the 30-year-old brown belt from Chris Reese Academy. Tom just recently competed on ABCC Trials and has competed on shows of Grapple Fest and Role Models Invitational, so he's no stranger to the grappling stage. He trains out of the infamous Chris Reese Academy um, with the likes of Ash Williams and Joshua Williams as well. So he's, he uh, trains with a high level of pedigree, so we expect to see the same from him today. Oh, you In Tom's corner today is Sam Gibbs, who you would have seen compete on earlier against Jorge Rodriguez, taking a win in the second round. And Tom will be facing Dinu Bukela, who should be coming down the stairs as we speak. Dinu will most likely be comfortable against the cage, having done a lot of cage wrestling in, pre in preparation for his MMA fights. And now in comes Dinu in a blue corner. Representing London Grapple. Trains at Reece Ke Reece, uh, Chris Reese Academy, training with Ash and Joshua Williams, obviously, and uh, now ADCC Trials winner. Interestingly, Dean has actually faced Ashley Williams in competition before in Polaris. They had a good back and forth match where Dean was almost able to secure an arm block well, in the final seconds. Let's we. Let's see how their uh, their students do against it. <laughs> A shake of the hands and they go back to their respective corners. Both guys are ready. A shake hands and off we go. 
Tom Barry immediately securing that plum clinch. And a nice single leg takedown, and he runs it down. Dino back to his fight. Dino's not accepting that bottom position. Tom just using that arm to uh, push Dino down, finish off the takedown. And we're back to the corner that uh, Kate Basic and Martina Zola were stuck in. Let's see how Dinu deals with being having his back to the cage. This is definitely a tricky situation because most sweeps are going to be difficult from here because um, the cage will be blocking. Exactly. That he's on he's on the wrong side for the half guard to give himself space to take that uh, sweep. Tom Barry. Dinu did a good job of recovering and moving himself away from the cage a little bit. Tom's oh, the pass. Tom, you taking that single butterfly away. Now he's now he's given himself the opportunity to get the knee slice, and he's got a really nice under deep undercook here. Dino using the cage to try and get himself back up to his knees, and Tom getting still not letting him pass. Tom Barry with a head secured. Has he got a guillotine there as well? No, Dinu's hand is securing Tom's. Again, we're seeing that experience, understanding of using the cage there. Right now, Tom's doing a good, a good job of controlling Dinu's wrists. He's trying to sweep his leg out. A nice switch. Tom anticipating that and now straight into side control. Yeah, good back and forth action from both guys. Interestingly, these more experienced fighters, as we've made our way through the night, uh, these guys have slowed down in comparison to the others. They're taking their time, and that could be because they've got those seven-minute rounds in the back of their heads. They're definitely, they're both very experienced guys, and they're used to dealing with uh, competition, the pressure, and working with the time. So they know when to explode, when to kind of relax a little bit, which is what Tom is kind of doing right now. Away. Tom back straight back into the guard pass and look how he hugs that head and arm. Straight away he's going for the underhook. Yeah. Trying to float past those legs. As Sam Gibbs is saying in his corner, Tom is really flattening him out. We saw that in the previous guard pass and he's, he brings that arm right up to Dinu's head. Good top pressure from Tom. Dinu just trying to clear that knee on belly, but giving, giving now, giving Tom the arm, and this is potentially where we're going to see Tom take his back. Good job defending from Dinu. He was very aware to put his hand up as well to avoid that potential arm triangle. Most definitely, and now we're potentially seeing a leg lock scenario. Dinu going onto a single, single wax, and is he going to bring that other leg round? He's he was, going for a Mr. Meshi style with the, with the leg hook on the inside. Yeah, and now he's using that to push away, give himself some space to go for that submission. He's going hard on that foot lock. He's really bridging into it. Tom's trying to clear the foot. Tom clearing the inside foot, potentially looking for a leg lock of his own there. Dino now going belly down on it. This looks tight. Tom trying to get back to Dinu's legs to try and give himself space to get back on top. Dinu even going even further belly down on it now, changing his grip. Tom Barry able to work to his knees now, trying to get back to his knees. Let's see if he can clear that knee line. Dinu now switching for the heel hook. Tom Barry, you've got two minutes left. Yeah, and as mentioned earlier, Dino trends a lot with Ross Nichols and Jed Hughes. Both guys good at taking the back from this uh, outside leg position. Yeah. And both with the leg lock pedigree as well as that. 
yeah, for sure. It was definitely an uh, experience in defending. And as you and just as you said that, he looked to come up, but um, Tom just pushing him back down. What's impressive was seeing Tom with that underhook. And Dinu's kind of giving it to him a, a, a lot of that time. Where he's playing knee shield, he's giving that underhook, which may be to his detriment, but he's doing a good job at the moment using that knee shield to keep Tom, Tom Barry off. Good job from Tom to step over that leg. And again, he's looking to go knee slide on the other side. You know, angling off, looking to get purchase on the One minute left, Tom, Tom tip now. One minute left, Tom. This is your position, Tom. You know this. Tom Barry just really pushing like it, Dinu's leg down, not allowing him to work to a potential De La Hiva. Dinu back on his hip, though. Wally, if you're if you're Dinu right now. How how are you gonna, you know, how are you dealing with Tom's passing and work? Are you, are you stopping giving the, those underhooks or are you looking at leg locks, leg entanglements? It's hard to say because uh, I believe that Dean is trying to go for certain K guard entries, but Tom is doing a good job of crowding him and not letting him, yeah. um, not letting him create space. And uh, just as I say that Tom's able to pass his guard. Tom was threatening with a guillotine there, but Dinu just coming up, and now we're in north south. He's definitely scored points for that pass. Yeah, I think I think this is uh, safe to say as we're coming up to the end of the round now. Um, this is going to be Tom Barry's round. Tom, for sure. And important to note, so Dinu had a good uh, good bite of Tom's ankle, and he was going hard with that footlock. In alpha grappling, that scores nothing. Yeah, there's no no advantages for t uh, for yes, submission uh, attempts. Yeah. And that makes an interesting dynamic because suddenly, when you're going for submissions, you've got to know that you're able to get that and you're able to finish that. Otherwise, you you may be giving up a pass, you may be giving up positions, and those are points that you may not have uh, have able to lose. And again, the good thing with alpha grappling, they go again, they rematch straight away. So exactly. We'll see if there's a bit of a different change in pace or tactics from the guys. I wonder if we'll see uh, Dinu look to wrestle a bit more, potentially accrue some points, and then and then look for a sub. Both fighters game even before the rest time is over. And a touch of the fist and off we go. Both guys looking to win the rest of the What's interesting is that, as we saw from Ash Williams, the, guy, the team at CRA are not afraid of working on their wrestling. The referee is having to reset them. And as they work up right, right next to the commentary area, Dunu just dragging him away from the cage. I just make. Dunu just putting that arm, that forearm across Tom Barry's neck, working his way. And I think we're going to try and see potentially Dunu try and walk his way up the cage. Tom looking to clear that knee shield, clear that leg. It's a bit of a tricky position for Dino. If he was able to turn or potentially get that left side underhook like he is now, it would be a lot easier for him to turn and maybe use the wall to get up. He's got that half guard and he's got that underhook now, but Tom has quite wisely stood up now. I was about to say, he recognised what Dino was trying to do. Yeah. Good, uh, good awareness from both guys. Yeah. Tom here, very calm, not rushing these pass, passing attempts. 
dropped from Demon to create space, and now they're back in the open in Demon's new shield half guard. But Tom Jay would slide straight through. Almost, almost secure that pass. He almost got that pass, just part of Dinu's knee, still blocking in with a bit of a shield. But again, Tom Barry locking down, trying to lock down that upper body. Dinu trying to go for that single leg, coming up to his knee, but Tom is seeing everything. He's, he's, he's taking his time and he's seeing everything that Dinu's throwing at him. He's really methodical with his passing. And we're seeing him just trying to clear that knee now, clear that knee line whilst he has that overhook. Back up to their feet now. Good job from Dinu to use that underhook to stand up. Now let's see if we see Dinu do some wrestling. Uh, push on his wrestling now. A little slip from Dinu, but Tom Barry. Okay, Tom's decided to play guard now. Let's see uh, Dinu's passing from here. And it's going to be a bit of urgency on Dinu's side now. I don't know how far we are into the round. But uh, he's, he's, one, he's, he's one round down. Yeah, so. one round down and two points down. Um, and we have four minutes left of this round, so let's see what Dinu can do. And potentially, I think we may be seeing a back take attempt here. Dinu comes up, he's got top control. And can he clear the guard? Good Tom. job from Dinu to now isolate Tom's shoulder. Yeah. Excellent, Tom. We're going to come up or we're going to entangle? Dinu's now got the uh, Dinu's now got the problem of trying to clear the lead. Halfway. Three and a half minutes down. Two minutes remaining. Two thirty remaining, Dinu. Come on. Come on, Dinu. 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 Come on, He's now pushing the pace. See, it feels like the pace has gone up a little now as he looks to pass Tom's guard. Dino recognises he's two points down. He needs to score in order to win or get a submission if he wants to go to the third round. And I think that will provide a, a, a mental... Tom Barry now working, but Dino locks onto that neck now. That looks like a tight guillotine. Is he going to be... Able Getting told to, he's now got, he's now got the legs. It's an arm in guillotine, but Tom has got that arm on the outside. Good job from Tom, standing up, clearing that head. You've got a minute and a half, Tom, and he's going to feel your pressure. Let's go. Forward pressure constantly, Tom. We've got just a minute and a half. That's it. That was a good tactical move from Dino as well. Even to not get that guillotine, he didn't concede any points by no. being on his back by exactly. attempting that submission. Exactly. And we've seen that in fights before, you know, when we do. Uh, and Charlie. Yeah, exactly. As well. if, if, if you see that you there is a potential takedown coming, then just, just putting on that submission attempt means that there'll be no points there. Yes, forward pressure, Tom. Forward pressure here. Good, good, good. Now Tom, look at passing. He's got the outside cradle, and now it's on Dinu's back. Dinu coming back into turtle, trying to go for that single leg, but he's not going to come up on you here, Tom. You're going to sprawl hard. I'm going to sap him down before I go to the back. Tom now working to his back. He'll need to clear that arm though first. Both guys just kind of resting here a little bit. Yeah, breathing a little heavy here now. That exchange, that last exchange, I think took some out of them. But he's worked his way to the back. Dinu pulling guard there. One minute thirty. Yeah, you got a minute thirty, Tom. Oh, forward pressure, Tom. Constant forward pressure. Okay, just under a minute and a half to go in this match. I think we're going to need to see something from Dinu in this round now because he is, I believe, he may be points down, and Tom's constant passing has been to the detriment tired, of uh, Dinu That's today. Tired, yeah, Dinu Tom. is down on points for sure. I believe 2-0. Yes! Elevate. I'm going to win that underhook and I'm going to flatten him. You did a great job, Tom Barry. Tom, you've got 45 seconds. And we're now down to less than a minute to go with this. And I think we're going to have to see a submission from Dinu now. Yeah, Dinu needs to get the submission. To until win. we go to the third round. And I think... 30 seconds, Tom. Forward pressure. This is all you, Tom. Tom again standing up, under noting that you know, when he when he looks the pass, he's constantly looking for the he's, yeah, he's constantly looking for the underhook, but he knows that when there's risk there, he'll stand up and re-engage from standing. 
Tom going for the yes, Tom going for the step over armbar, and he's got that. And Dinu's got his arms locked up. Will Tom be able to finish it? Pulling back now. Calls for a bicep slide, but Dinu's come up on top, and that is the end of the round. And I think we can safely say that. Tom got the point victory. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. Good job from both guys. Good job from both guys, and well fought. And Tom Barry takes the win by two rounds via points. And I think we'll safe to say we'll be seeing more from both of them in the future. Good fight, gentlemen. And now we'll go to Jersey for the post fight interviews. Come on in, Tom. Congratulations. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Uh, a bit disappointed with the heart of Gust. Uh, it definitely wasn't my fitness. Right. I think it was uh, more the moment. Okay. Uh, credit to Dino, he's a beast. Yeah. Uh, he's a good all rounder himself. Mm. I could feel he was uh, competent in all the positions. Yeah. And the man's a beast. I'm glad that I didn't get a finish, but at this point, it was a hard aghast. Yeah. But uh, on to the next one. Yeah. Was this the fight you were expecting, or did anything surprise you? Uh, it was kind of what I was expecting. He's a bit better on his back than I thought he was going to be. Mm. Uh, Footlock's tight. Yeah. Uh, lucky we don't tap the footlocks in the gym. <laughs> or, uh, you know, I think it would have been hurting a bit more. Uh, yeah, but apart from that, all good. Good. Yeah. Um, what's next for you in terms of competing? Uh, w whatever's next. And I've got uh, all stars in three weeks in Wales. Um, and just get what on wherever I can get now. Yeah. And keep the ball rolling, really. Yeah, great. Well, congratulations. How are you going to celebrate today? Uh, with a train journey home. <laughs> Probably, if, if I don't get lost, that's the celebration. Yeah, uh, yeah that's it. Cool. Well, yeah. safe journey home. Congrats. Thank you, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Dino, come on over. How are you feeling? Uh, good, good. Well, <laughs> disappointed, but yeah. it's okay. I got tired too, not only him. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, okay. was, a good fight. was that the fight you were expecting? Yeah, sure. He was tough. Good, uh, good strong positions. I couldn't play my game. He started really hard. Mm. And uh, he had uh, the initiative, which is why he won. Yeah. How are you going to rest or recover after today? <laughs> well, there's no rest to keep, keep training. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Finally, I'm getting to train a bit better now when okay. uh, my injury is healed. Good. Well, come back. It's okay. Yeah. How did you find um, coping with the injury during that fight? It's okay. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Good. Cool. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.